Y'all ever get really overwhelmed by how many locations all of your photos and videos are in? If you're a creative who's always creating and storing photos and videos across different devices from like phones and computers and random like big tech cloud-based services, then you're going to love the tool that I'm about to talk about today. My name is Jackie Portales. I'm a photographer, a content creator, a review writer for ShotKit, and today I'm going to tell you all about this really cool program called Mylio. So Mylio is this desktop and mobile app that is designed to take the fuzzer clock that is our endless media library and turn it into basically an organized work of art um, by connecting all of our devices with one single app. And we can effectively become our own cloud this way, which means we'll be able to access all of our media across all of our computers and our tablets and our phones. And we can even uh, connect Mylio to online clouds as well. Um, so what that lets us do is some really cool stuff like I can access my raw files from my external hard drive that's plugged into this iMac and I can download them in full onto my MacBook Air if I'm like across the country or something, which I think is just really cool. And most importantly, and arguably best of all, Mylio gives us the gift of media and data privacy because with Mylio, we can store all of our media right on our own devices and they're not in the hands of any big tech companies. So now that we've got all of our storage options sorted out, it's time to import all of our stuff into Mylio. You guys, if you have like 2 million photos, that's totally fine. Mylio can handle it. I have like 100,000 photos between my, uh, my iMac and my iPhone and my two external hard drives. But what I super love is if I wanted to connect my Google Drive, I could do that and my Mylio Photo Plus account is going to encrypt those photos and help me keep them totally protected. So now that we've all imported everything, uh, Mylio is going to group together our libraries here in all photos. We have a ton of quick filters that we can use to navigate around, get organized, and find and access all of our media across all of our devices. If we want to find something specific, we can narrow down our search in a few ways. Smart tags are pretty cool because it uses AI to help us determine and sort by activities and animals and all that stuff. So say if I wanted to look for a photo of my cat Ronan, he's over there, um, I can just search by the cat smart tag. And it even has some specifics here like tiger cat. So that's kind of cool that the smart tag seems to even recognize his breed a little bit. And these smart tags are all produced locally on our devices and they are never shared with Mylio. The app of course also has general facial recognition. I actually just used this tool um, in my Leo last week because I was trying to find some pictures of my friend, also named Jackie, to share on Instagram for her birthday. And as you can see, my Leo has pulled up a ton of photos of her across several folders. And all I had to do was identify her once and use the AI to figure out who she was. Not only does it recognize faces, but it even recognizes text and pretty well at that. Like it can even pick up certain words on like the spine of a book in the background of a photo, which is pretty remarkable. We can also look for media by searching through the calendar if we know when the media was created or by the map if we know where the media was created. So now let's say I wanted to create an album of all the photos taken on my ski road trip last winter. I can look at each location from my trip on the map or in the calendar or wherever, select all the images I wanna to add to the album, right click and click add to album, boom. It's that easy, now I got the album made. One of the other things I love about Mylio is it can help us cull through duplicate photos that we have across all of our devices. This is actually such a big deal to me because I have an ungodly amount of duplicate photos throughout my phone, especially, and this is going to help me kind of sort through them. And all we're going to do is go to the Organize dropdown on the main menu, click Find Duplicate Photos, and it'll show us all our duplicates. I'm seeing right now, right off the bat, that when my second shooter sent me their photos from a wedding last month, they sent me photos from both cards that they dual wrote to, and I really only really need one copy of each in my folder, so I can go ahead and remove the duplicates my Leo found and save myself some hard drive space. All right, so get this. We can edit our photos right into my Leo as well. There are a ton of different settings here that you typically find in, say, Lightroom or Capture One, and we also have some general presets here as well before and after mode and auto enhance capabilities. Yes, Mylio is going to keep us wildly organized and help us access our media from all our devices, but I think the most important takeaway is how Mylio is going to help keep our data secure. All the media we produce has all sorts of information such as the location our photos are taken in and all of that stuff. And like, do we really wanna give that information freely to corporations like Google and Apple? Mylio is also helping us maintain our privacy by helping us store our content on our own devices and you really can't beat that. Melio Photos is totally free to use on one single device. However, if you'd like to share and access your media across multiple devices, 
and also utilize Milio's encrypted cloud storage to back up and protect your media, you can opt for the Milio Photos Plus fan. I can tell you right now, I'm already paying more than that between Dropbox, iCloud, and Google Photos, so I would say that's a pretty slamming deal. The greatest part about Milio is you are the one who dictates how much space you get. Since you're the one hosting your own cloud with your own devices, you don't have to pay more money for a plan that allows more storage. Even in the early stages of using Milio, I've already rediscovered so many moments I've forgotten about that have been absolutely lost in the sea of iPhone and iCloud photos. This is such a convenient tool, and the only con I can really see is that using it is the initial setup of connecting everything, waiting for it to synchronize, and going around and canceling all of our other cloud subscriptions and all that. That's really the only con I can see here. So this is definitely a really awesome tool. If you have a ton of stuff across different devices, you guys, this is gonna help you stay so organized and it's going to reignite all these memories for you as well. Thank you so much for watching this review, my friends. I hope Milo helps you get your life together because it's definitely gonna help me get mine together. And until next time, I have something to blab about. Goodbye.